Welcome to Electron Online. Here in this video we're going to look at some general approaches of how to solve an integral when it's a product of a sine and a cosine raised to some power. m and n represent integers greater than 1. Now in the case if n is equal, to, if n is odd, so if the exponent on the cosine is 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or so forth, and typically not 1 but let's say 3, 5, 7 or so forth, then what you do is you keep one of the cosines and convert each of the remaining cosine squares to 1 minus the sine square of x. So for example, let me write it down, if you have the sine, or no, in this case, if you have the cosine of 5x, then this, uh, the cosine to the fifth power of x is equal to the cosine of x times the cosine to the fourth power of x, which can then be written as the cosine of x times the cosine of 2x, quantity squared, and then you take each of the cosine squared of x and write it as 1 minus, where are we here? Uh, right here, 1 minus the sine squared of x, so this becomes the cosine of x times 1 minus the sine squared of x, quantity squared, and then if you do that, you then multiply whatever comes out of here times the sine to the m power of x, and then you have all sines of x's to various powers multiply times the cosine of x and that becomes your differential. So in general, if you look at this here, you take the cosine of n to the n power of x, you write as 2k plus 1, you pull out a cosine of x and so now you only have an even power to the second power times k, whatever k happens to be, you write it as the 1 minus the sine square of x and then eventually you write the 1 minus sine square of x well, no, that's the end product, then you multiply everything out, multiply times this, and all of this is then multiplied times the cosine of x, and then you can integrate. If, on the other hand, m is odd, if the exponent on the sine of x is odd, then you do it the other way around. Then you write the sine of m as a sine of 2k plus 1, because it's an odd number. You then pull out a sine of x, so now you only have the sine raised to an even power, for every sine square of x, you write 1 minus the cosine square of x. You multiply this out. If this is 2, 4, 6, doesn't matter. You multiply it all out times the cosine of nx. Now you have nothing but cosines multiplied times a single sine. That becomes a differential of all the cosine terms, and you can integrate that. Finally, what if both n and m are even and none of them are odd? What do you do then? then use the relationship to sine square of x because remember that for each sine square of x you can write it like this and for each cosine square of x you can write it like this and you continue to simplify it until you have everything to the first power or you can use the product of the sine times the cosine and write as one half the sine of 2x and just keep simplifying that until you have nothing but the sine of 2x again if you have the sine squared of 2x, then you'll have to use this relationship right here, where am I, sine squared of x right there, to simplify it to a lower power. So that's the general technique of how to simplify, how to simplify these, uh, these integrals so that you can integrate them. Those are the general approaches used for the product of the sine to some power of x times the cosine to some power of x. And that's how we do that.